Good morning, great people. Good morning. Um, it's early here, y'all. It's just before nine o'clock. Been sleeping crazy because of all the stuff going on, man. Um, George Floyd. George Floyd forever. The spirit of George Floyd will live forever through us. Today, I wanted to come on here and um, speak about a couple more solutions, y'all. Today, and from here forward, <clears throat> I'm going to focus on getting more solutions, right? One of my homies back in Michigan, um, so white brother hit me up. I posted today, I was like, inbox me y'all numbers because I'm about to go on a spiritual detox or a spiritual cleanse from this world. Um, I'm just getting up, y'all gotta get my head together, but it was on my heart this morning. I was like, I need to do a video about the fact and the need for these big business owners, these mega businesses um, that's all across this nation. Like for all of the small businesses, y'all, like if you are a small business owner and somebody burned down your stuff, they vandalized, they, they looted, they messed up your business. Like my heart goes out to all of y'all small business owners. You know what I mean? Like, because none of this is right. None of this is right, y'all. None of this is right. And I want you to I want you to hear my sincerity. None of this is right. Like I'm I'm just as torn and angry by the death of this brother as anybody else. Like these business owners didn't deserve the aftermath of what happened. If y'all can hear me, everybody won't agree. I don't want to do a video to create arguments and further separation. That's not why I'm doing this. There are spiritual laws governing this physical world. And unfortunately, the energy that goes out is the energy that is reciprocated. Right? If you understand the hermetic laws, if you haven't, please research and study the hermetic laws. Understand that the only one that most people know about is the law of attraction. But the law of reciprocity, the law of correspondence OK, understand these spiritual principles, spiritual laws, the hermetic laws. Please do your research on them. When that devil put his knee on that brother until he couldn't die. That evil, that energy was released. And it's now going across not only this nation, but across the planet. Lower vibratory frequencies or evil would the church calls the devil's work was released at that moment. That energy has went into the hearts of a lot of people. That energy was released. And all of this is spiritual, y'all. Like, this is not just about, like, this is a chain of events. All of this is coming from George Floyd. That spiritual energy that happened between two people was released on this planet. There's not a person that's watching this that can tell me that we are just a hateful people. Because I want you to understand something. Do your history in America. In fact, let's take it from America and let's go back to Europe. You have never seen a time where people of melanin have been going around enslaving people, killing people, just, just ravish across this, this, this world, this nation. It has not happened. You leave us the fuck alone. By nature, we just a people of love. Like we have had killings amongst our own because we are people of passion. But we're not just out here trying to kill people that are of other cultures. To my Mexican brothers and sisters that find this video, are we going to Mexico just killing Mexicans? Are we just killing Mexicans by the thousands and hundreds of thousands in America? No, we're not. Are we just going across this nation when nothing is happening to us? Are we just going across this nation and by the thousands and hundreds of thousands just killing white people? No, we are not. Please study the history. And tell me that I'm wrong. Are there isolated incidences? Absolutely. Are there brothers that have killed white police officers in this country? Absolutely. 
But are we just savage as savages going around killing people? No, we are not. Please help me help y'all. Let's stand together and stop this media painting of racism. The media is painting these pictures of savages. But can we also admit that if you study American history, some Europeans in this country have set out to kill people of dark skin and melanated, melanated people. Can we admit the truth? Because I can admit the truth. The one thing that some people of European descent or white people have a problem with is they don't want to admit the truth about their culture and about their history. It's not all white people. But we got to be honest if we're going to continue to move forward as a people. If we're going to continue to move forward together, we have to be honest. You guys expect people that go to, to jail every day that kill people. When your families go in them, in them courtrooms, y'all expect before y'all sentence him and send he going to jail for life anyway. He ain't never getting out. But you want to hear him admit the truth. So why do y'all have a problem admitting the truth? Somebody kill your family. The last thing you want is the truth. And then you send him on his way. He already going to jail for life, but you want to hear the truth. Why do y'all have a problem admitting the truth about y'all history in this country and y'all history around the world? I'm not doing this video to divide people, but we have to start being honest and move forward and repair the damages that have been done in the past in this country. But European descent, people, white people, whatever y'all want to call yourself, I call y'all Caucasians. We're going back to origin. White and black are not nationalities. White and black have no states of origin. If anything, that's part of this supremacy because white, when you look it up in the dictionary, is all related to something that's pure. Y'all history ain't been so fucking pure. Black is always associated. Sometimes you can distinguish and it, it, it says and it means power. But for the most part, it's associated with everything that is negative. We flip that like we flip the N word. Some people who using it and to associate it with power, just taking a negative and flipping it into a positive. We're talking about spiritual energies that have been released. What's the point of my video? Let's understand from today forward and begin to hold one another accountable. We can work on our people. We can continue to do it because this right here is the end. There ain't going to be no more Trayvon Martins. Trayvon Martin, see, we thought like, damn, we exhausted, y'all. George Floyd, we have reached the end of the road. Will the devil continue to work? Absolutely. But it's a God. It's a great. The grand divine creator of everything is going to always have the end. Melanated people, we have the heart of champions. We are not going to motherfucking stop. We are not going to fold. We are not going to give up. We are a people of love. We are a people of joy. We are a people of peace. We are a people of happiness. We are a people of prosperity and we ain't talking about no money. We want to circulate love across this whole planet. True currency. True currency is love. My beautiful people of melanated skin, I love everything that we are. We are amazing people. Do not let the news, do not let these devils that want to push evil and hate and separation. Do not let these devils paint no picture other than love. If you are of European descent, white descent, if you are white, Caucasian, and you watching this video, if anything, admit that we've been reacting to everything. Civil rights movement, we were reactive. We were reactive. 
Melanated people, it's time for us to be proactive. That means we're setting up reforms. That means we're going at them for the laws. That means we're going at them for, for injustices. We are, this is proactive. Time to stop sitting back, letting shit happen to us. No, proactive. Let's get shit in place. Let's strategize. Let's prepare. We already getting organized. Let's continue to support one another. Because that's one of the things people always talk about. Support black business, support black business, support black business. We only want to protest Gucci. when they That's reaction. Shout out to the brother, man. Make sure y'all send this video to the great brother T.I. The great brother David Banner. Because I know some, some of their people are going to watch this video. Great brother David Banner. Great brother T.I. I want to send a shout out to T.I. Because the brother said... Uh, we're going to do one day of protest, uh, run that one day of uh, like boycotting and uh, standing against. And the brother has a voice like his voice has went all over the world with music and, and powerful. We must be spending with our own and building our own businesses every day. Um, I think that was a great solution. Um, and I know in the future he's going to continue to do the work. I'm all about, we got to be building with one another, man. We got to be um, supporting one another and, and doing the things that's necessary. And I want y'all to understand, me coming from an hour north of Detroit, when I left, I was going to Atlanta. And that got, that that time got pushed back, man. It's been two years, almost two years I left Michigan. I was going to the ATL. You feel what I'm saying? But the creator of everything, he had other plans, man, to to prepare me for a greater time, you know what I mean? Like, this video is summed up in this. That's what this whole video is about. If you're watching this video and you are of Latin descent, Hispanic, my Latino family from Mexico all the way down to South America, okay? If you are of African descent, if you are from Jamaica, if you are from Haiti, if you are from Africa, if you are from the United States, if you are in Europe and you are melanated and you are of African descent, all over this great world, all over this great nation of America, throughout Canada, there are brothers, sisters, kings and queens from Jamaica and Haiti, melanated people from all over, from Africa, all up through Canada. It is time from this video forward. Make sure you click the like button and share this video on your Facebook. It is time for us to hold these big businesses accountable. If we are spending our money at your businesses on a daily basis and you see our dark skin on those cameras in your business, we are expecting you to speak up for injustice for us. If our money is coming and it's circulating in your business, your love better be circulating back into our communities. Because I know there are going to be our people are still going to go into these businesses. Como stars to all my beautiful people. All my beautiful people that are, are, are of Latin descent, Hispanics, Mexican, great beautiful people. Como stars. I love y'all. Don't let these motherfucking devils divide us because that's what they want to do. All my beautiful people from Mexico, from South America, from Central America, I have listened to the conversations up in Steamboat Springs of how they really feel. What they call you stupid Mexicans. I listen to the conversations in silence. And the reason why I'm silent is because if they can speak about y'all, my beautiful Mexican people, if they can talk about y'all, you know they're going to talk about me. I don't stand for racism in no form. I listen to the conversations up on these construction sites with your, ask your beautiful brothers for the, for the women out there, for the men out there, for the sisters that are Mex from Mexico, from some Central America, from down home. I listen to the conversations that they have to say about Mexican brothers up there. They can't say they ain't racist because I'm listening to you motherfuckers in silence, looking at y'all with the death stare. 
Like, I know how y'all gonna feel about me. This shit gotta change. These people out here hanging American flags in their front yard. Like America has been a great country. When has it been great and for who has it been great? Because millions of my ancestors' bodies have been slain all over this country. The Native Americans, if y'all know some Native Americans, send them this video. Great brothers and sisters, beautiful kings and queens. The natives of this land. I know about your people that have been slain in this country. All I speak up for is equality, man. That's what this video is about. Like, why in the fuck are we still fighting for something that we should have? Why have Native Americans, their whole land have been taken from them and they've been pushed in little boxes? Come on, y'all. Y'all see the bullshit. Y'all just don't want to admit it. See, I'm real enough to admit it. We're going to talk about this shit. We're going to get it understood today. Hold these big businesses, these motherfucking multi-million, multi-billion, trillion dollar businesses. Hold these motherfuckers accountable for what they have done. What have they done? They sat back in silence. For the businesses that have spoke up, if you know a business that has spoke up, tweet this to them, tag them in this. We appreciate y'all. For the governors that have spoken up, the motherfucking, for, for the, the U.S. officials that have spoken up for us, that are of different cultures, we appreciate y'all. For the countries overseas, for Israel, for Mother Earth, for Africa, for Cuba, for Mexico, for others, other countries that have spoken up for us. Peace and love. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. We need y'all. Hold these businesses accountable. For everybody that has watched this video, none of this shit is right. I'm going to close. None of this shit is right. But from today forward, understand when I spoke about the hermetic laws... That when that, that, that devil put his knee and killed that brother, he put his knee on that brother's, on that brother's, that knee on that brother's neck and killed him. And he sat there, y'all. Y'all watched his face. Y'all know what the fuck, um, body language and human body. Y'all know the understanding. And y'all seen his body language. That's what devil, that's what I mean. That's a devil. That's not God's work. That's the work of evil. You're out here to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So why do y'all not expect that reciprocity, y'all? I'm not saying none of this shit is right. But it begins with love. It begins that if we have to change this planet for more of a place of love in order for that energy to continue to circumvent, because all of this shit is spiritual. Y'all looking at spiritual, or looking at physical with physical. I, they're destroying shit. And that's physical shit. That's material shit. That's vanity. Y'all are idolizing and loving the buildings and shit and the material in the buildings more than you are each other. Come to wake the fuck up. It's time for us to wake up, y'all. We've lost our way. I don't want y'all to hear me. I want y'all to feel me in your heart, man. Feel me. We have lost our way because we love vanity. We love material shit. We love buildings. More than we love each other. We're out here in the streets. Shooting each other with rubber bullets and bullets. Flashbangs killing each other. Beating each other with baton. We have lost our fucking way. It's time for us to get it in order. It's time for us to get back. In connection. With the grand divine creator of everything. The universe. God. Yahshua. Jesus. Whatever you consider it. I don't care what you title it. Because it is beyond human understanding. We can only tap into it a little bit, but let's get us, let's get connected. Let's get back in harmony with it, y'all. For those who don't know me, y'all, it's fresh and this is Gorilla Hustle. I appreciate everybody that has stayed this far in the video. Please do me a few things. Please, let's begin to change this thing. Please, first and foremost, before you get out this video, like this video, y'all. I need you to share this video on Facebook or I need you to tweet it. Tag these businesses. It's time for us as a people. That's why they say power to the people. It's time for us. You have the power. I have the power. We have the power because God is everything. Don't let these devils that's that's continuing to show people um, on these prompters, scripts on prompters. 
Where the script's coming from? It ain't coming from the person that's reading it, y'all. Let's, let's see through the veil, see through the matrix and wake up. Wake up each other. Don't let these devils that keep casting to y'all evil and evil and fear and the, the opposite of love. In the last couple of years, how many positive news broadcasts have you watched versus negative ones? How many ones of love and encouragement telling you to go out and build a business and to connect with your neighbors? How many of those have you watched versus the sky is falling, the sky is falling, the sky? That's the devil's work. This is God's work. Because I'm asking us to hold these big businesses accountable so that way when injustice happens, the laws that are going to be put in place, these things can be in the favor of the people. Not that these big businesses, we go in and spend our money with them. We go in and give them energy. They give us nothing back in return besides some material shit that in 10 years ain't going to be worth nothing anyways. I could speak about it all day because it's in my soul. I do this out of love. I do this because this is what the creator has placed me here. One of the reasons that God has put me here, I have many gifts. <clears throat> I'm asking and I want to build and connect with people in every major place. If you are in California, if you are in Texas, if you are in, I'm from Michigan, I'm an hour north of Detroit. If you are in Michigan, if you are in Chicago, <clears throat> if you are in New York, Miami, Atlanta, all across the South. If you are in another major place like Cleveland, that I, any place that I miss, major cities, please share this video so that way it can begin to spread. I do this from love. Y'all don't do this for separation. I do this for love. Okay? I do this for love. Let me show y'all a picture real quick. <clears throat> this is a picture of two of my children. As you can see, these children, y'all, these children are mixed. My mother is as dark as the night sky. I love my mother, man. I thank her. I got a picture of her over there. Um, that's my queen. That's my love. That's my everything. I know who I am in this country. But that don't mean that I have hate for nobody, y'all. Don't. Like, hate is of the devil. Haters of the devil. We want to reciprocate. People with melanated skin want to reciprocate hate because that's all we've been given in this country. There's been love. Like I talked to a white dude yesterday, old white man between 70 and 85 years old. Old white man. We had a great conversation. His brother was, uh, he served in, in the army, went overseas back in the Vietnam War. And I feel a person's vibe. See, I'm not listening to your words. I'm feeling your heart. You can't lie to me if you racist and you a devil. You can't lie to me because I'm feeling your energy. Take it beyond the physical, y'all. Study the hermetic laws. Let's begin to transform these things in this world. Okay? Please like this video. Please share this video. Please drop some comments. Let me know, y'all, what are some solutions that can help us hold these big businesses accountable. I'm going to continue to bring more solutions I'm passionate, so I'm hurt and I'm angry when this shit happened to our people, but I'm making sure I give God time to work on me also. You know what I mean? I'm a human being. I'm not perfect, y'all, but I'm giving God his time. Subscribe to this channel. Click the notification bell. If you are from a major city, connect with me because I have other gifts that I want to bring. I want to serve and I want to do things. I want to connect with people all over this nation and ultimately all over the world. Subscribe. Click the notification bell. The links to connect with me are below. Please like this video and share this video.